hello and welcome to my channel thank you for watching my name is Placida and today I'm reading from the dream giver now I need to tell you about this book when I was training to become a coach um, a life coach and a life and business coach and after I think in the middle of our course we started a program and in the middle of it we were given a pile of books to read and to set us off into our journey and this was one of the books that we were given you know to help us move into the new phase of our life which is to supporting people and in supporting people is all about dreams aspiration goals you know and what they want to achieve really the way the book was introduced to us one of the lecturers read it to us in class and it was so beautiful it was like the most beautiful thing that I'd ever heard and a lot of this, a lot of this, the information in this book sounds basically sounded like me at the time, and a lot of people in the room is in the room. And um, the book is written by Bruce Wilkinson and um, with David and Heather Cup. And also, it's a proverb, and proverbs are quite powerful. If you know about proverbs, every culture have proverb. And if you're thinking about changing your life, transforming your life. Um, Looking for a new future, um, thinking about rebranding yourself. You're watching rebranding me. You're thinking about rebranding yourself. Um, this book is a good book to start. So why am I here sitting down and talking to you about this book? I was going through my, you know, tidying up, decluttering, and I opened this box. And in this box, I had lots of books in it, and this book was in it, and just reminded me of the first time I heard about the book. So I read, I just remembered the way I felt and how I was driven to achieve my goals and be more. And as I was thinking about it, I opened it up again and I read the first page of it, the introduction of it. And while I was reading the first the introduction of it, which is this, I just had this thing come into my spirit why don't you do a reading on your channel read this book on your channel so i looked at it and it has 14 chapters and i you know i thought about myself i was like i've never done this before i've never actually like sat down to read to anyone for that matter i think the last time i ever read to anyone was in class in, in school way way back um, so I've never actually done anything like this where I have to sit in camera and read to anyone or read on camera. It means it's going to be live, there are probably going to be errors, you know, my pronunciations. All this was going crazy in my head about reading. But after having all those emotions and all those things going around in my head, I decided, hey, go for it. There must be someone out there who's never heard about this book, who needs to hear this story, and who would appreciate you reading it. Um, so yeah, this is basically an, this is an introduction to my reading of The Dream Giver. I'm going to do my best to read the chapters. Each video will be one chapter, and that means we're going to have 14 videos in total of this book. Um, just so that we don't make it too long. I don't know how long it's going to take me to read, to read one chapter. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, the first part, I'm going to start from this very first page. This very first page, okay. And so, introduction. I'll be reading today The Dream Giver. And the author of The Dream Giver is Bruce Wilkinson with David and Heather Cup. This book is for anyone who has ever hoped or believed they could achieve something remarkable with their lives. David and Heather Cobb have been a vital part of creating this book. Their commitment, skill, and encouragement have been a deep inspiration. Thank you, my good friends, for being champions to this dreamer. Most of all, I wish to acknowledge the dream giver himself, for without him, none of us would have a compelling dream to trade our lives for. 
that's the introduction so i'm just going to open it now and then there's a preface so i'm going to read the preface now do you believe this is a question do you believe every person on earth was born with a dream for his life for his or her life no matter where i travel in the world whether among heart changing manhattan urban urbanities or villages in south africa i've yet to find a person who didn't have a dream they may not be able to describe it they may have forgotten it they may no longer believe in it but it's there i call this universal and powerful longing a big dream like the genetic code that describes your unique passion and abilities your big dream has been woven into your being from birth you are the only person with a dream quite like yours and you have it for a reason to draw to you towards the kind of life you were born to love welcome to my new book the dream giver a practical innovative guide to achieving your big dream the dream giver is made of two parts part one is the parable of the dream giver this is the story of ordinary a nobody who leaves the land of familiar to pursue his big dream the parable follows ordinary on the journey to his dream this story will introduce you to the big ideas i want to talk about in the next section part two is called the journey to your big dream i will serve as your dream coach in these pages helping you to problem solve and to reach for the important personal breakthroughs this section is designed to inspire you along the journey towards your dream for even more help i invite you to visit www thedreamgiver.com where you would find creative interactive solution for people pursuing their dream in choosing a parable to teach about dreams i seek to follow in a long honored tradition of conveying important life principles through a simple story c s lewis and the chronicles of narnia for example or john Boyan and the pilgrim's progress and who can forget the parables of the good samaritan and the prodigal son for communicating truth to people of all times and cultures the parable just may be the most powerful teaching tool available i agree if you read the prayer of jabez you met a little known old testament man who refused to settle for less he desperately wanted to break out of confining circumstances and expect expectation he had been born into so he cried out to god for blessing for larger borders and for the power and protection to go with him and god said yes if you pray like that your life will change God will expand your borders. He will move you in a direction where you can thrive, but also you will face greater challenges than you ever faced before. In this book, I call this direction his dream for you. Every dreamer will soon learn that the road to the to the future you really want is clogged with dream threatening obstacles that's why so many turn back but what many don't realize and what i missed for years is that each obstacle is also an important opportunity the obstacle come in a predictive sequence and each for a very promising reason the better you understand the journey to your dream and what god is doing in your life the less likely you are to abandon your dream so let me ask 
did you have a dream as a child that you lost along the way? Do you have a dream right now that seems impossible to pursue? Do you feel like God forgot to even give you a big dream? Or are you pursuing your dream but experiencing setbacks after setbacks? If your answer is any of these questions is yes, then this book is for you. Please join me for the journey of your life. May your heart sink as you embrace what you were created to be and do. Warmly, Bruce Wilkinson, Johannesburg, South Africa. So that's the preface. So in the next video, I will be reading part one of the book and we'll take it chapter by chapter. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next chapter. Bye for now. Oh,